Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch, and welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to be just doing a little fun uh, video today in my sketchbook, which I feel like I haven't opened up this sketchbook in a very long time. But, um, oh, I wrote IDF. Um, we are going to go to a new page, and I am going to be doing a trippy art doodle with me video, essentially showing you some of my favorite trippy doodles that I like to doodle and uh, creating a little page of it. Um, probably not gonna fill up the page, but at least I will uh, do my best to. Um, I am using the illustration marker, the 120 black one from Five Below. Uh, they came out with their own alcohol uh, marker set. So I decided to grab it. Um, but anywho, let us get into the trippy art doodliness. So um, anybody can do these, by the way. You do not have to be like an artist or a professional or anything like that to do any of these doodles. I just really love doing them and I figured I'd show you. The first one that I will show you is probably my favorite and it is a mushroom. So you are first going to make a little shape like this. And then you're going to make a stem. You can curve it. You can make it straight. Just do it however you'd like to. And then you're just going to make two little lines connecting to that stem like that. And then you're just going to make a bump, bump, bump. And then you're just going to add little lines in there to represent the gills. And then you can just kind of add whatever you want. I like adding these little bumps. Sorry for the squeakiness of the marker. And then you can add little polka dots to the mushroom or honestly, whatever you want. You can also add just squiggly lines like that. And then I just fill in the dots and the lines. Sorry for my dog in the background, if you can hear him. Teddy! Just like so. Look how cute that is. Okay. Um, next, I kind of want to add something here. So I think I'm just going to add like a little hill. A little trippy hill. And this mushroom looks like it's about to fall now, but that's okay. Um, and then we're just going to add more mushrooms. I'm so sorry about the squeakiness of the marker. I didn't know it was going to be that squeaky. And again, you can go as sketchy and as, you know, free-flowing as you want with these mushrooms. They don't have to be perfect. And you don't even have to use black marker either. You can honestly use whatever color you want. I'm just using black for the sake of the video. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that one and then I'll make another one. That's how I kind of fix lines there, is just making the lines bolder, by the way. Like if I accidentally color over the line or something. And there you go.
this one, I think I'm just gonna add little polka dots to the stem. You could do that too. There we go. So that's how you make a mushroom. Um, next, I'm gonna show you guys my swirl. It's not really mine, but it's just kind of a weird trippy swirl. I definitely credit most of my trippy doodles, honestly, to trippy draws. Learned a lot from her. But yeah, you just kind of follow the line of the of the swirl. I know I'm terrible at explaining all this, but I figure the visual might be a little bit more helpful. There we go. Uh, so that's a little swirl. Um, also the drips that I like doing. So I basically just make these little... I'm just trying to go as slow as possible so you can just kind of see how I'm doing it. Um, and yeah, that's how I make the drips. Sometimes I put drips within the drips. Ugh, the squeakiness is annoying. But yeah, that's how I do drips. Um, and then there's this little design. So you just start off with a little circle. And just go like that. Kind of like what you were doing inside of the mushroom stem, but just more in an open area. But yeah, so that's how you do that. Um, doodling is just so much fun. Um, sometimes I'll even just do a random line, like so, and then I will just copy that line next to it. And just kind of fill in the spaces. Sometimes I'll just go off and do my own thing like that, making little stripes. So there's that. Um, and then you can even just, you know, if you're running out of ideas, just follow the line that was already made like so to kind of make a border. And then you can make a flower. So you just start off with a circle like this, fill it in and make little petals. And then you can add more petals onto it if you'd like. And just keep going with it if you want. So yeah, there's that. And then I'll just kind of copy the line again. Kind of make a border there. Um trying to think of anything else that I want to add. Um, I mainly just do these type of things. Oops. So again, I made a mistake there, but I can just darken the line. And it's like nothing ever happens. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll just copy the line to make a border. And then I'll fill up the rest of this with a little trippy swirl. So as you can see, I just kind of add bumps to it to kind of make it more that, instead of a simple swirl, I just kind of do that. Or you can just do a simple swirl. Simple swirls are okay. And yeah, honestly, and I'm just gonna add like a little moon. Just do a little C. Oh, that moon is just awful on the end there. I'm not really good freehanding it, but usually with pencil it's easier. But yeah, Here, I'm just gonna color it in so I can fix that mistake there. Sorry if you hear the train, the train's going by. 
Maybe that made it a little bit better. I like to add stars, of course, being star sketch. <laughs> but yeah, that is just a simple little doodle page that I just did. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh, feel free to make your own page with the doodles that I showed you. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it down below and if I should do more of these. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys. Multiple is not all I know.